No more octagons. Let's make a perfect circle like in the top of my hat. Let's make it. Ciao friends, Beth with Thimblehooks, and today I'm going to show you how to make a perfect circle. Instead of having like a hexagon like this, staggering out your increases will give you a perfect circle. Isn't that great? Let's get started. All right, let's start with our magic circle and my five millimeter hook. If you're not familiar with the magic circle, I do have a tutorial out there. It's only a couple minutes long because this is such an easy little thing to do. So you can take a peek at that real quick and come back and we will make our the crown of our hat in a nice circle. But here's my magic circle and I'm going to single crochet eight into my magic circle. And as always, of course, I'm going to mark my stitch. I'm mark my first stitch, especially when I'm working in the round and when I'm showing people how to do things, I think it's only it's only appropriate to do so. So there's my first one. We want eight. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we can tighten this up. Just pull. That's what makes it so magic. Pull. Perfect. Now we have eight stitches in our magic circle. That was round one. With that, you already get to make a click. Round one's already done. Round two is an increase. Two single crochets in every stitch. So we're going to increase from eight to sixteen. So there's my first stitch and I'm going to remove my marker as I always do. And two stitches, two single crochets in every stitch all the way around. All the way back to the stitch marker. And there's my last two stitches. Go into this final stitch for 15 and 16. There you go. That was round two. Round three isn't much more difficult than that. We're going to do a single crochet in the first stitch and move our stitch marker. And then another increase. So it's a single crochet and then two single crochets in the next stitch. Single, two singles. That's our next round of increase for round three, all the way around. Last two, do a single crochet here, and two in the last stitch for an increase. And that was round three. We've just increased up to 24. So we're working right in here. It's getting bigger and bigger, but this is going to stay a circle, not a hexagon. All right, round four. Is where I'm going to increase only by six instead of by eight. I switched it up a little bit because I like the way it lays a little bit better with only these three rounds instead of four with sixes. So what I'm going to do is these first three stitches in round four are single crochets and then we will do the increase. So it's three singles. So there's one and there's two and there's three single crochets and then two in that fourth stitch for the increase all the way around. So one, two, three and then two for an increase. Here's my last four stitches in round four. Get one, two, three single crochets and our last stitch is the increase, which will get two single crochets. Moving on, round five. Click. 
this is where we start to do something a little bit different. So normally we just do an uh, increase of two and then single crochet four. Increase of two, single crochet four. What we're going to do here is we're going to do a half of one of those. So we're going to have two stitches on this side and two stitches on this side. So I'll show you what I mean. So the very first single crochet and we're on round five. Very first stitch is a single crochet. I'm going to do one and two. Then we're going to do our increase. So there's two single crochets. And then we're going to go into the typical four single crochets in a row. One, two, three, four, and an increase. So there'd be two single crochets in the stitch. And that's again to the end to our last two stitches. So again, one, two, three, four, and one, two. And now we got to the end here, we have two stitches left, right here and right here. That's finishing out the four stitch sequence that we started with at the beginning where there were only two. This staggers our increases a lot, so you can keep a round, a real circle instead of an octagon. I really like doing things this way. That's how I'm going to do almost all of my hats going forward and bags and things like that, I think, because it just makes it a, a smoother circle. It doesn't have any ridges. It doesn't have any bumps along the edges. So our last two, single crochet. And what we just did there by splitting this one up two on this side and two on this side is going to happen on every increase that would be an even number. Like this one was four in between each increase. So hopefully this is making sense. I'll try to explain it one more time. We did, this is a typical round of an increase plus four single crochets, but we split one of them in half. So we did two single crochets at the very beginning and then increase four singles and increase four singles all the way around to the end. And the last two stitches were two single crochets to finish out this four, which will stagger our increases quite a bit and keep it round. All right, so we're going to move on to round six. Round six is back to the typical, what you've always probably done to make something into uh, a circle. We're going to start with the single crochets before we do the increase. And this one would be five because the previous round was four. So there's my first single crochet. We're going to do five in a row. Two, three, four, five, and an increase of two. And our last stitch is an increase, so it gets two single crochets. That was round six. We just increased up to 42. So that was round six. We're going to start round seven. Click, round seven. Now round seven has in between the increases is an even number because this last one was just five. The amount of single crochets in between each increase is an even number, so we're going to split it in half. So it would be six. So the very first stitch is a single crochet. I'm going to mark it again. And then two more. So there's three single crochets here at the beginning and there'll be three at the end. So we can stagger these increases. So now we do an increase. Remember we did one, two, three. So now it's an increase two here in this fourth stitch. Now we're back to our typical sequence, our normal sequence of six single crochets in a row. One, two, Three, four, five, and six. 
and an increase of two single crochets in that stitch. And there's our last three that match up with our first three. So the last three stitches are just single crochets. So again, that's going to stagger our increases quite a bit. So that was round seven, and we just increased up to 48. Where we're going is increasing up to 72. So we have to do this a few more times. So round eight, click. Single crochet, the first seven. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then our increase of two single crochets in that same stitch. Six, seven, and the last stitch gets two because it's an increase. One, and two. And we just completed round eight. We've increased up to 54. Remember, we're going for 72, so we still have a couple left. All right, we're going to move on to round nine. We're trying to get to 72. So in round nine, we'll increase this up to 60. So we're on round nine now. And since that last round had a single crochets and an odd number in between the increases, this one is an even number, so we're going to split the first one, which would be four on this side, four on this side, and an increase, and eight, increase, eight, increase, eight, increase, eight, and then an increase, and four. So since this was an even number, and the typical increase would be eight, we're going to single crochet the first four. And I move my stitch marker. So there's one, two, three, four, and then we get to do our increase. So there's two stitches, two single crochets in that stitch. Now we move on to the eight. Our typical for this round would be one, two, and an increase of two single crochets in the next stitch. And now we should have four left over. One, two, three, four stitches at the very end that match up to complete the eight sequence with the first four that we did. So see, we just kind of moved it a little bit. We just moved our increases over a tiny smidge, so they're not all lumped up on each other. So our last four stitches are single crochet. And we just did an increase up to 60 on round nine. So we're gonna round, move on to round 10. We want to get to 72. We just round up to, or we just increased up to 60. So now we're going to increase up to 66. This one is the next number in the sequence is nine. So we'll do nine single crochets and then our increase. One, two. And nine. We have one stitch left. Yay! That means we did it right, and that's our increase. So it gets two single crochets. And we just increased up to 66. And that was round 10. We have one more to go, and then we'll have our perfect circle for right here. And then we get to start working on the hat. On the rest of the hat instead of just the top. So let's do round 11. So if you're catching my pattern here, or my sequence here, since the previous round in between our increases was nine single crochets, this one would be ten single crochets. And since it's an even number, we're going to split it in half. We're going to do five single crochets at the beginning and the other five at the very end. So here's, there's my first one. There's a single crochet. There's one, two, three, four, and 
five. So there's half of my normal typical sequence. So we're going to do our increase now in our sixth stitch here. There's two single crochets for our increase. And then we're going to do one, two, and there's number ten. Here's my increase two single crochets in that stitch and now I should have five stitches at the end. One, two, three, four, five. Five that still need to be worked to match up with the five that were at the beginning. Again, we're just staggering our increases. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. And it's a circle instead of a hexagon. We don't want a hexagon. We don't want this. It's all lumpy on the edges. We want a circle. So there's our perfect circle. And this one goes out to 72 stitches all the way around. If you wanted to make it bigger, you could keep right on going. Just keep with that same sequence. The odd numbers are all in one grouping in between their increases. The even numbers, the first one gets split in half. So the next round would be 11 single crochets and an increase all the way around. The round after that would be an even number, so it would be split. It would be 6 increase, 12 increase, 12 increase, 12 increase, 12 increase, and 6. So there you go. So there you have a perfect circle which will be great for the top of a hat or the bottom of a bag or you could just keep right on going and going and going and going and it would be huge and you could have a big round blanket and it would actually be round instead of a giant hexagon or a giant octagon. So there you have it. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thibble Hooks and turn on notifications so you can see what I have coming up next. I've got some great stuff on the way. Thanks. Bye.